Peace, love, and light. This message is for the collective. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are and you're living in your greatest purpose. Collective, we are on our way to 10K and are working on reaching our goal by the end of October. So if the messages resonate with you in any way, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into your messages. Okay. <clears throat> I'm hearing who's coming towards you. Okay, someone's coming towards you. Okay, collective. <clears throat> this is collective messages. Who's coming towards the collective? <clears throat> hmm. Who or what? <laughs> Who's coming towards the collective? Okay. <laughs> okay, the lovers. Okay, there may possibly be someone wanting a connection or someone that you have a connection with that's coming towards you. Okay, someone, someone who may possibly want there to be some sort of uh, change or improvement in your connection. Hmm. The lover's card may be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, that may not resonate for everyone. Um, and it may just be someone... Hmm. Someone who wants a stronger connection with you. Someone who's looking to have a better connection with you. Hmm. Someone's looking to have a better connection with you. It's like um, I'm seeing someone that may want to be closer to you. Hmm. Someone that wants things to progress. Look at that. Six from the six to the seven to the eight now. I'm seeing all those are significant in some way. The Seven of Pentacles and Eight of Swords. Someone may be wanting something having to do with um, wanting something to improve, something to grow, wanting a difference. Someone may also feel like their hands are tied. You may actually know someone who has some kind of like connection with you that feels like their hands have tied like they're not sure what to do uh i'm i'm hearing someone wants a better connection with you okay so for some um there okay this may resonate with some that there may be a scorpio okay someone's a scorpio or someone's a king of cups okay uh, I'm seeing an energy of transformation here. Okay. So this energy of transformation may actually be an indication that you're going to see some transformation in your, <clears throat> in your relationship. And perhaps that's why I'm hearing someone wants a better connection with you. Perhaps this King of Cups is here to deliver some message or someone's trying to tell you that they're the King of Cups in your life. Uh, three of cups may also be, <clears throat> okay, I'm getting some throat chakra energy. The person who wants a better connection with you or someone's, it's either, it, it's going to, certain things are going to resonate with some people. There's, for some, there's going to be someone who wants a better connection with you. Okay. And take it as it resonates. We're going to look into that energy in a minute. And I'm also hearing there's someone that wants to take things like to the next level or they're wanting to take things to the next level. Um, someone I'm seeing an image of a hand. So for some, there may be someone that's interested in taking things to the next level. Like they want your hand, something significant about your hand something significant about a hand hmm beginnings 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 okay let's see here 
very strong energy of progression okay improvement transformation and you're seeing also different um elements here involved okay i'm also seeing some of you there may be um there may be either an earth sign or possibly earth sign or air sign Showing up for you. Mm. Okay, let's check out this lover's energy. Now, I'm seeing that for some of you, the lovers represents a deeper connection with yourself. Some of you are really feeling yourself. Like you really enjoying your own company. You're doing your own thing. Um, like your love for self and specifically i feel like i'm talking to some scorpios here like you have really like become a lot more in tune with self let me try to fix this okay uh let's see if we could okay collective there was a little bit of technical difficulty so we were saying that many of you are finding a stronger connection with yourself um you may be doing the things you know necessary for you to um free yourself and some of you that freedom is financial freedom okay very strong connections or there are stronger connections showing up in your energy connection to self connection with others as well okay and as we speak look at what fell down <clears throat> look okay the lovers card and now the two of cups which is about connections so this is confirmation <clears throat> this is confirmation stronger connection with self you are going to see a stronger connection or someone someone is seeing a stronger connection okay tell me more about this lover's card yeah because some of you have really decided to focus on yourself um and part of what's really making a difference for many of you is like you've really limited your circle like i'm seeing an energy of um of isolation knowing when to knowing when to stay to yourself when knowing when to give to yourself okay when to preserve your energy when to have those quiet moments that's also allowing you to see the connections uh spiritual connections as well hmm. there's something about this connection that you're seeing that has to deal with the spiritual work that you're doing i'm seeing that a major part of this connection your guys are saying that there's something that you're doing that's helping you that's helping you see or helping you to have better connections now this could be spiritual this could also be physical there's something you're doing that's helping you to have better connections spiritual and physical connections and i'm seeing this is both okay uh, mm -hmm. so and and also there's something that you're doing that's helping you to have better connections with self as well as others okay tell me about the seven of pentacles <clears throat> seven of pentacles oh yeah so now it's about connections and it's also about connecting the dots it's also about like changing things things changing for you and someone else possibly or someone is changing certain things okay now so some of you there is a For some of you i'm seeing for whatever reason i'm seeing like a gemini energy okay there may be a gemini showing up in your energy uh for some there's 
an air sign that may not be a Gemini. <clears throat> the Seven of Pentacles may also be a reflection of goodness. Okay, it may be a reflection of letting go of something. It may be letting go of some distraction. <clears throat> I'm seeing that for some of you, there may be a an earth sign that you let go of that could possibly be thinking about you. Oh, and oh, look at that. Hmm, letting go. There's something that you're letting go of that has a very strong energy to do with you manifesting like a stronger connection. Oh, look at how that, that just happened. How it started out in the upright and now it's in the reverse. You may be letting go of, um, oh, mm. there could also be someone showing up in your energy that's like hard to let go of, that's making it, it's, um, it's almost showing up as like an energy of like a soul tie of some sort. Uh, there could be an earth sign possibly that you are releasing a soul tie to that it's challenging to let go of um and i'm seeing that you're letting go of that okay you're letting go of that and you're making way you're transitioning to <clears throat> like a more stable solid connection the five of swords that showed up earlier may have been an indication of something that happened with this person okay or why there was a need for you to let go of this person there's some kind of like spiritual thing that's going on there's something that you're doing spiritually <clears throat> some of you may have actually noticed um some hmm and this is for those that this resonates with like for some of you that are in connections like stable connections uh, I'm seeing that there may have been some challenges and some who are getting into connections. You may have noticed some challenges. Um, <clears> Throw <throat> chakra energy. The challenges could have actually been due to miscommunication. <clears throat> mm -hmm. There could have been a challenge due to miscommunication that's changing look at that it's 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 an energy of letting go of something you're letting go of something and i'm strongly strongly seeing that there could be um uh, some of you this may resonate with you you may have had a strong like sexual tie to someone that's showing up in your energy that it's like this is confirmation right here Okay, this is confirmation. The number <clears throat> the number 3 could be significant. It it may actually be that there's some portal that's opening, like some sort of like or something that you're doing spiritually. This may be cosmically that there's something happening uh for you to renew something. It's like something is happening cosmically so you for you to strengthen your connections not only with self with others and this whole thing is about like renewal and regeneration and transformation okay <clears throat> so for some of you whatever's taking place in your connections you're going to see that you have you know things are going to start getting easier um like in your partnership specifically okay <clears throat> uh and in order for that to happen there's an, there's some letting go that that 
that has taken place and your guides are saying this is why this is how you're able to progress because something that bound you something that really kept you stuck is being released from you uh or you're letting go of it and i'm seeing that this is intentional because you're manifesting stronger connections mm -hmm. you're manifesting stronger connections it, it's it's showing up as like you know some healing taking place um this is also showing up as something that you've wanted to do and I'm still seeing that earth sign energy for some of you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, <clears throat> strong throat chakra energy. You may be dealing with an earth sign, someone that... Um, mm, something about communication, perhaps they wanted to communicate with you. Or there could have been some kind of like line of communication still kept open. I'm seeing a very strong Virgo energy for some of you. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, okay, this person trying to clear their throat, they got something to say, or perhaps it could even be that the fact that this person had some kind of like residual thing, it's like they had, they felt like they had one last thing to say, it could have actually been that thing that literally kept some sort of like a tie, you know, with this person it, it it was almost like this person's energy was pulling at your strings and it may have been intentional or unintentional and i'm seeing that it's like you're letting go of it you're doing something that's improving your connections again okay it's victory for you tell me about this death and rebirth card <clears throat> yeah it's like someone wants to Someone either wants to come out or someone wants to or is going to come out and say something. Okay. All right. So there may be a Scorpio <clears throat> and or an air sign or it could be both that may uh, that are hmm, that may need to have a conversation. I'm seeing someone's conscience is, is kick is starting to kick in. They're starting to see. <laughs> Perhaps someone's starting to see the error of their ways. Someone actually knows that if they lost you, they would lose a really good thing. Okay, so whoever this resonates with, um, this may be for, from someone who's now kind of like, you know, turned over a leaf or they've grown a conscience or, you know, this person, it seems like they've become a lot more emotionally connected. And this is what is allowing you to have a stronger connection okay uh and i'm seeing that it's possible both of you could have been kind of like uh you know you you could have been experiencing or you could have felt like some energy tugging at your connection your relationship your it's like you know your commitment to someone and this may even be yourself as well um, this is why your guides are saying that you're going to see stronger connections from this point forward. There may have been some some stuff, okay? Now you get to know that like energetically when someone when there's still kind of like a residual thing left between you and someone, like unless you close the door fully, it's almost like you know you leave a door open for like energies to come in. And what I'm seeing is like, you're closing all doors, okay? It's like whatever doors could have been open for someone to have an opportunity to like <clears throat> sabotage or uh, keep you from seeing like this energy of elevation and transformation that's taking place. Your guides are saying like all doors, all doors are shut. <laughs> all doors are shut. No magic is getting in. And it could very well be that something you're doing is spiritual, okay, is being seen in the physical, okay? Something 13, and as we speak, I'm seeing 1321, or was it 22? Okay, so something you're doing in the physical, something you're doing in the spiritual is being seen or witnessed in the physical, 
This may also mean that for some of you that were having challenges in your connections, you're seeing changes in this person. You're going to see them gradual. Okay, you're going to see gradual changes in this person. Uh, someone's going to exude energies of leadership or, or qualities of leadership. Someone's going to, uh, you know, show up as this King of Cups more like in tune with their like th this person's more connected. They may have been they may have seemed a lot more disconnected. And this is why your guides are saying you're going to see stronger connections. This is for people that you're dealing with as well as yourself. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else you want us to know? I'm seeing an energy of building. See? Confirmation. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Things are being revealed. It's almost like some tower has to be destroyed in order for you to be to rebuild a new one. Okay? There's a tower that's being destroyed. And this is what I'm hearing. And this is your message. There's a tower that's being destroyed destroyed for you to rebuild a new one. <clears throat> mm. A tower is being destroyed to hmm, that's interesting. Okay, take it as it resonates now. That's your spirit guys talking to you. You will know what that means. Take it as it resonates. I'm seeing the word confidence. For some of you that's what that may mean. Okay, Queen of Wands, confidence. Yep, indeed. Mm-hmm. You you are foreseeing this as well, some of you. The Queen of Wands has appeared, and your spirit guides are saying that they have their hand in this. Something's happening with this Queen of Wands. Okay, now let's see what your guides are wanting you to know. Mm, for whatever reason, strong ancestor. Energy cards are still coming out. Messages. Let's see what your guides want you to know. Oh, okay. I'm hearing something about completion. Something's coming to completion. Yeah, this is what your guides were saying. There's some tower that's being... It's like a tower that's being destroyed in order for you to rebuild a new one. That's exactly it. Um, let's see, 21... 21 is about like some kind of portal opening up perhaps. Um, oh, look at this. It's about connections. I embrace my sacred connection to infinite potential. There you go. You are embracing your connection to infinite potential. You see, I kept on getting some message about connection. Some, some connection. So it's like embracing your connection is your connection to self it's your connection to spirit it's your connection to others because what you're doing is you are welcoming infinite potential that is your message if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time love peace divine light